What's up, everybody? It's Aphrodite's Crush back with you here once again. It is taste test time. Damn it. Rocking the uh, Love It Kill at 5%. And you know what? It's a good thing we are because we are taste testing. Not the pizza box back there. Full as fuck. Fruit punch. Damn it. So, let's go over the supplement facts real quick here. Uh, one scoop, which is 14 grams, contains 250 milligrams of vitamin C, which is 278%. Niacin at 30 milligrams, which is 188%. Phosphorus at 5%. Magnesium, 4%. Sodium, less than 1%. Potassium, 5%. L-citrulline. Notice it's not citrulline malate, you dumb people. Stop taking citrulline malate. I'm telling you. L-citrulline. <laughs> 5,000 milligrams. L-taurine, 2,000 milligrams. Glyceride, which is 65% glycerol powder, 2,000 milligrams. Nitrosogene at 500 milligrams. Doing my best Rich Piana impersonation. That man will never die. <laughs> Beet, which is Bulgaris root, 500 milligrams. Dan Shen, which is Salvia Matorzia root extract at 100 milligrams. And S7. Now, check this out. This is green coffee extract, green tea extract, turmeric extract, tart cherry extract. Nope, just start uh, tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, and kale. That's 50 milligrams total. That's a, a S7 blend. And biopurine, which is black pepper extract. Everybody does that anymore. That's five milligrams. So, there's one scoop with eight to 12 ounces of water and 30 minutes before training. So you can see, the seal is still on this bad mamma jamma. Fruit punch is the flavor. Fruit punch is also one of my favorite general flavors. So, hmm, interesting. I I don't think I've actually ever had anything that's specifically fruit punch from five percent before. I've had so many different products from 5% that it boggles the mind some, sometimes what exactly I have tried and don't try as far as flavors go. So, that is your scoop into the blender bottle. Sorry, my 5% bottles are already occupied with some All Day You May and All Actually, all day you may and real carbs plus protein. So. Which, by the way, the all day you may vanilla iced coffee, let me tell you right now, it was better than I remember. Either it's just as good if not better than I remember, or they improved the taste, and the taste was fantastic before. So, I'm telling you right now, this stuff. Right here, all day you make caffeinated. This is actually starting to replace uh, my pops at work. I used to drink like uh, at minimum two 20 ounces of pop at work sometimes just to get that energy kick. This right here, 125 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. I could sip on it all night. So, all right, so you got a little bit of foam up at the top, not a whole lot. Looks like it mixed in fairly well. I can dig that. So let's pop the top. There we go. Okay, the smell is definitely coming through a little bit better now. Uh, there is a little bit of settling in the top of that, of this. Um, but set the top. I'll kind of show you. So you can kind of see there. Got a little bit of clumping up at the top. But I don't really care about that. As long as the product still works, I'm good. And honestly, I just bought this a couple months ago. So if there's something wrong, I got a problem. And honestly, my other bottle of full as fuck had a little bit of selling in it too, and it didn't affect it. So did not affect it at all. So also, while we're talking, this right here, snack time. I got the peanut butter flavor. 
holy crap, dudes. Like, this is just off the scale great. I love it. I absolutely love snack time. I'm going to try the chocolate peanut butter next time because that right there is just fantastic. So, just let you all know that. So, I went... So it's around, it around a little bit more than 12 ounces on the water. And it tastes like Kool-Aid. Almost like a Kool-Aid high C. Um, a little bit grainy, but how many times have we all drank pre-workout where it you know, it tastes like you're crunching pre workout in your mouth. I don't mind this at all. Mm. And fruit punch is one of my favorite flavors anyway. Still a little dusty, I'll be honest. But, I mean, the flavor's on point, And honestly, it's going to do the job. So... I cannot be mad at that at all. Um... Every once in a while, you'll you'll kind of find a five percent product that will be just a little bit grainy. That's it's gonna happen. No no brand is immune from that. But my thing is, as long as the taste is good and the taste is on point, you're gonna enjoy the product more. You're gonna want to drink it more, and you know so on and so forth. You're gonna get it to your workouts more. Look at that, is that a bicep vein already. I'll take it. But uh, yeah. I mean, this right here is fantastic. Now, the one thing to remember about Full Spark, um, this has no real uh, stimulant in it. So if you're going for a non-stimulant type of product, this is the way to go. The, I actually had to switch to this because what I would normally be taking had it not been on what I'm on now as far as my workout regime, according to my doctor, I still have my can of 5150. Now, wow, it's all dusty. Been a while, but uh, this right here, this is stimulant heavy. I love this product, love it to death. But if you cannot have stimulants, obviously, you can't have this. And you're looking at B12 at 16,000 percent or something like this, and uh, 400 milligrams per serving of caffeine in that. So that's going to my brother. <laughs> this right here, non-stimulant, helps you out with your pumps. So it's gonna get you set up with the, the nitric oxide. And it's just really gonna help you out overall in your workout. So this is gonna be a really fantastic option for a lot of people who, well, first off, like I said, can't have uh, stimulants. Um, there's no caffeine in this. No, there's no B12 in this, uh, of course. Um, but you know, if you're sensitive to caffeine and you you don't or you just don't want to, if you want to be able just to get in a, a workout before bed and something real quick, maybe go half a dose on that. You'd be set to go. But I really think that. Cause I've been taking the other flavor. I'll kind of show you here. Uh, this is what the blue raspberry, the old label. Which, by the way, look at the freaking labels here, man. Let me tell you what. what don't don't you want to buy that product just based on the label? Like seriously. I mean, you take a look at these, and you're like, wait a second. I just want to lift. Like, you take a look at that label, you take a look at that label, you're like, whoa, let's dance, right? So, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this down. Pop that 30 minute timer and then get into my workout. So, which coming up next will be my. All day you shred taste test keep a lookout for that until then ladies and gentlemen 
want to thank you, everybody out there for watching. We will see you next time. You have a good one. Peace.